Did you know thorough documentation can help speed the employee's recovery from substance abuse? If the individual is referred for professional assistance, such as the EAP, a record of observations will help both the EA professional and the employee understand the history of the situation and spot patterns and behaviors that can lead to effective treatment. Is this statement true or false? Effective documentation for a particular incident or observation can consist of as little as one or two sentences. The answer is true. A single sentence is sufficient. As an example, Chris, who seemed alert and healthy all morning, left the meeting abruptly at 11 a.m. and returned at 11.10 a.m. looking dazed and dizzy while coughing frequently. Now let's turn to skill number four, acting on the testing policy. Follow your organization's testing policy with consistency and the requirements established for your type of industry, if federally regulated, so that you can properly investigate an employee's suspected substance abuse. Review your employer's policy. The policy should explain how tests are administered, describe the drug screening process, list the steps that will follow a positive test result, Communicate the organization's commitment to zero tolerance toward illegal drugs and alcohol in the workplace. Here's how to proceed. Your employer may require that you complete a form requesting that one of your employees submit to a drug or alcohol test. You will need to write your observations and include other information that triggered your reasonable suspicion. Remember, time is of the essence. Check your employer's policy. In most cases, you should refer the individual for immediate testing and accompany the employee to the test site. Now here are some safety precautions. You may need to arrange transportation to the testing site and to the individual's home after the test is completed. This protects you and your employer from liability exposure. There will be resistance to testing. Inform the employee that refusal can be interpreted as a positive test result. Do not force the employee to submit to testing. Don't argue over necessity. Cite your organization's policy regarding employees who refuse may be subject to termination. Let them know that their action places them at risk of termination and document the incident fully.